Forza episode 46 wasn't an amazing episode, and it wasn't bad, but it wasn't amazing either. And I mainly say that just because it did something that last week didn't manage to be able to do with me, and that was keep my interest. Last week I felt like I was going to fall asleep in the middle of the episode, mainly just because of how much uninteresting stuff was happening right in the middle of the episode because it was mainly exposition about a filler character that nobody will end up caring about once all this filler arc stuff is over. So, yet again, you know, we get more of another episode of the filler arc, which, spoiler alert, isn't ending this week. It's actually ending next week at, from looking at the previews for this episode, for next week's episode. And overall, it just begins with whatever happened last week, because honestly, I... I honestly don't even remember because of how uninterested I I am for this entire Philly arc that was completely pointless and didn't need to happen. And <laughs> I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset because I was just like, all right, they're going to end the, the, the stupid Philly arc this week. They didn't do that. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't even care about not censoring myself in my videos anymore because it's not like I can't monetize my videos anymore. So who cares? In case you couldn't tell, YouTube finally did the part uh, YouTube partner program stuff to where small creators like myself can't monetize my videos anymore. And it's not like I made any money on my videos anyway. So if you're going to be seeing future content from my channel, obviously it just means I'm doing it for fun and just out of sheer enjoyment and hope that I can grow my channel. But either way, we get a little bit of like we get a little bit of the stupid protest that's happening to this big corporation that has no meaning to anything that's happening right now. The only purpose that it serves later on in the episode is for a diversion that real guy has been doing with Sh uh, Shikadai uh, in the past like two, three episodes. Uh, the entire time, there's like, oh yeah, we gotta stop all these people from going after this company because bullshit reasons, right? Because the Byakuya gang is like, is like basically setting up for a diversion so that way it can cause like a decoy because they're actually going after a piece of data. Uh, not a piece of data, but like a whole bunch of data on a whole bunch of ninjutsu. So, ninjutsu that has just been discovered. Or Keke Genkai, which can which can't be learned from any other person, because most Keke Genkai are, are blood related. You know, for, for example, Ice Release it only belongs to those of the Yuki Clan, which was completely annihilated. And for some reason, Ryogai knows how to use Ice Release, so there's still no explanation for for that fucking shit, which makes no sense. Uh, the Sharingan, of course, we get. Saurada, who uses the sharring gun later in the episode because she figures out, oh, there's a seal on their necks and shit, and they have to get that off. Hanabi's in the episode too, but she says absolutely fucking nothing. She's just there because of the purpose of, oh, she has a Byakugan, so she's going to be able to, you know, get them out of the Genjutsu because of the seal and stuff. So Shigadai notices the plan that Ryogai and the Byakuya gang had planned up with the, like the decoy and his stuff he sees it he's like oh i have to go stop him and along the way boruto decides to go and help out right so he does he does that whilst everybody else is dealing with all of the um the protest stuff these completely fodder byakuya gang ninja i guess get completely destroyed by Chocho, easily the worst character of all of the new cast. Like everybody hates her. I, I, I honestly don't know. She's just fucking annoying. I, I, I just don't. I just don't like her. And Enojin, which and he's he's okay, I guess. And then Ryo guy and his fucking uncle, I guess. Uh, Gecko, right? Was that was his name? I don't know. 
uh, they leave with, with the data, and Boruto and Shikida decide to go after the two. Me meanwhile, Shikamaru shows up, and he's like, oh, I have to set up this camera and tell everybody in the village, like, oh, yeah, it was these guys who put you under Genjutsu for doing something that you, you weren't really planning on doing. And Naruto actually gives a pretty good fucking speech in, in the episode, which, I don't know, I kind of enjoyed. It was kind of fun to kind of listen to him, you know, voicing out as the Hokage. I don't know why, it just kind of seemed really interesting. And that's pretty much it. That's the entirety of the episode. So it managed to keep my interest half of the time at certain points, at certain, at, at certain moments of the episode. Other than that, nothing else really fucking happened. So this is almost a completely pointless episode as last week. And the only other episode that seems to actually, you know, keep me interested is next week's episode, which is mainly derogatized towards a whole bunch of action with these completely fodder ninja that don't fucking mean anything because this is filler and they're gonna lose the Borto anyways because apparently he's an OP ass fucking god uh, if you couldn't tell I'm very upset <laughs> I'm very upset because I'm, I'm tired I'm grumpy I want to go to sleep but my sleep schedule is fucked up so I I'm trying to stay up for the entirety of the rest of the day so I'm gonna be very grumpy uh, I didn't really enjoy this episode all too much because I felt like I feel like it's it's just stretching out until the Boruto retelling of the movie, which I feel like which I felt like should have already been done already, but no, right? Uh, just I don't hate this series. I don't hate this series whatsoever, but. At, at certain times with certain episodes and certain characters doing the abs the most absolute dumbest shit I've ever seen any character do in, in any of the series, Naruto Part 1, ship it in a Boruto, uh, it's, just, it's just such a fucking drag, man. It's such a fucking drag having to sit with this new cast, and which some of them just seem so uninteresting and I can't root for, and just... Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. This episode wasn't bad. Most of the stuff that I'm saying in the episode is is honestly kind of exaggerated because I'm just super grumpy and tired and stuff, so it's whatever, but I, I don't know. That's that's the end of the episode. Because there's really nothing else for me to talk about, and I already said what the previews... I, I already pretty much said what the previews are. It's mainly action. It's Boruto Shikadai versus the two other members of the Byakuya gang, which is Ryogai and his uncle on a train, a moving train, because that's actually where they get at at the end of the episode. And other than that, they didn't really show us a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to be happening next episode. But if you want to go see it, then... By all means, go do it, because that's probably the most interesting part of the episode, or the fucking previews, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, right? So, anyways, that's the end of the episode, which means that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed my old fucking grumpy self, all tired and shit, be sure to... Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy, and if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so I, I can get to a thousand subscribers and four thousand total uh, watch time on my channel so I can put ads on my videos again. <laughs> Not like I got any ads on my channel anyway, so who fucking cares? Anyways, that's it. I have nothing else to say about the episode. <laughs> have a beautiful life, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.